No, it's not good. And of course, a uh, the, the couple of the main threats and the risks here is, first of all, the warm water and entering into a La Nina pattern, we expect an above average nor number of named storms. AccuWeather meteorologists are sounding the alarm, predicting that 2024 could be a blockbuster hurricane season due to the combined effects of La Nina and historically warm Atlantic Ocean temperatures. Find out what the major factors are, what the chances of this actually being true are, and how you can get ready to help people and earn a lot of money assisting in disaster recovery, starting now. This just in, Colorado State University has just released their 2024 hurricane season prediction, and they say, and I quote, current El Nino conditions are likely to transition to La Nina conditions this summer and or fall, leading to hurricane favorable wind shear conditions. A warmer than normal tropical Atlantic provides a more conducive, dynamic and thermodynamic environment for hurricane formation and intensification. This forecast is of above normal confidence for an early April outlook. We anticipate a well above average probability for major hurricanes making landfall along the continental United States coastline and in the Caribbean. So here's the breakdown. They're predicting 23 named storms, 11 hurricanes, and five major hurricanes. Contrast that with the prior 30 year average of 14.4 named storms, 7.2 hurricanes and 3.2 major hurricanes. All right, two main factors are contributing to this year's increased potential for multiple strong landfalling hurricanes. First, La Nina's return. La Nina, a cooling at the Pacific Ocean, typically leads to reduced wind shear, creating favorable conditions for hurricane formation in the Atlantic. Projections indicate La Nina may emerge during the second half of the season, increasing the likelihood of a surge in tropical activity. And second is unprecedented ocean warmth in the last 110 years or so. Water temperatures in the Atlantic are already unusually high, providing ample fuel for hurricanes. AccuWeather predicts record-shattering warmth, enhancing the potential for rapid storm intensification. The implications are that experts anticipate a higher risk of direct hurricane impacts along the Gulf Coast, particularly Texas and to some extent Louisiana. The combination of La Nina in the Pacific and warm waters in the Atlantic may result in an active second half of the season with numerous storms posing a threat. So what does this mean for you if you wanna take advantage of this historic opportunity to be ready to help in the recovery? Well, for starters, it means increased demand. A more active hurricane season will likely lead to a higher demand for independent insurance adjusters, Pick your poison, field or remote. It also means that you should be ready for a long-term commitment. Adjusters should prepare for the possibility of a long and busy season as La Nina conditions may extend into early autumn. And that means you could be working hurricane claims into 2025 with a late storm, especially if you get picked up to do cleanup. And you should definitely say yes to cleanup if they ask. All right, so what should you do to get ready? First of all, keep an eye on Adjuster TV for weather and job opportunity updates as like we've done in the past. Ensure that your vehicle is in good condition and stocked with your field claim tools and supplies. Very important, make sure that you have the right licenses before the season starts. Why? Because I firms will sort their rosters by who has the Florida license, the Texas license, the Alabama license, et cetera, and deploy those people first if that's where the storm hit. Once they run out of people who have the required license, then they will start calling other adjusters farther down the list. Why wouldn't you wanna be called first? You should consider obtaining licenses for states that are at higher risk of hurricane impacts, in this case, such as the Gulf Coast and the Atlantic Seaboard, primarily Texas and Louisiana. To get instant access to a completely free training that lays out all the prep you need to do, including what gear and licenses to get specifically, click on over to adjustertv.com slash start. 2024 does have the potential to be an extreme year for hurricanes influenced by La Nina and again, the possibility of exceptionally warm ocean conditions in the Atlantic. By understanding these factors and taking appropriate actions, you can enhance your deployment preparedness and ensure that you're ready to hit the ground running when the call comes to help in the recovery from these powerful storms. However, I've been working in this industry for 25 years and I can tell you that none of this is real until you have claims in your hands. Getting excited about the forecast and getting ready to be deployed and help isn't going to have an impact on what actually happens. So in spite of the 2023 forecast being actually pretty close in their predictions to what ended up happening, 
Idalia was really the only hurricane that made landfall, and while it did cause damage, it wasn't to the level of previous years. Very few adjusters ended up working any tropical storms or Idalia in 2023. Most of those 20 predicted storms spun around in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and didn't really bother anybody except maybe the Dominican Republic and Bermuda maybe Canada a little bit. Long story short, they can get close on the numbers and they can guess about the locations, and in this case, Texas and Louisiana, but what actually happens is gonna be probably a different story. That said, I'm putting my money on there being at least one major hurricane that puts a lot of adjusters to work. In fact, I'm so confident that there'll be a big hurricane that puts you all to work, I will cut my hair into a full-on mullet at the end of the season if that doesn't happen on camera. Well, it ain't a meteor. Yeah, it is. It came out of the sky. So if being in the front lines of disaster relief and recovery in devastated areas sounds like just the job you've been waiting for, let's get you started right now. Go to adjustertv.com slash start and watch that free video series on how to get started in a career in claims. So I've run a lot of claims in my 20 year career, but the vast majority were catastrophe claims and I had six major hurricane deployments. I know a lot about it. I know a lot of people who know a lot about it and have a lot of industry connections that can help you get your career off the ground. So head on over to adjustertv.com slash start to get started. If you're still kind of confused about exactly what it is we do, check out this video right here. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.